Hello and welcome back to the ESL ESCA Pro League. I'm Alex Machine Richardson, joined by Jason Kaplan for our second game of the evening. NIP going up against Navi on Inferno. This is going to be a real cracker, and I'm not going to lie. Just offline, you were just you were not offline, off air. You were doing some, you were reeling off stats, and I was like, <clears throat> that tells a story. That tells a story. Can you just enlighten the viewers of some of these stats you managed to pick up? Sure. Well, the first one I was talking about was uh, Ninja Pajamas. They played yeah. Inferno 40 times in 2015. They've won 22 times and lost 18 times. So kind of almost a 50-50 record between them, or between them in particular. They did beat Dinatos in week one on okay. in Inferno, where it was uh, all but the CT side. And the, the team did really well on the T side, where they won 16-13. Uh, they beat TSM 6-2-1. We all remember that at the Face It finals uh, in the first game of the series. Uh, they beat Fnatic 16-7 in the Group A of Face It. Navi, though, on the other side, we should talk about. They played it 26 times in 2015. 14 wins, 12 losses. Whew. But in particular for them, they played it nine times with Flamey. It's a new addition to the team where they won five times and lost four times. So a little bit of weird results for Navi, a little bit of uh, hit or miss results for NIP, but both teams can pretty much guarantee we're going to have a good game. Yeah. And not to mention Navi, this is the first time, this is their debut at the ESL ESCA Pro League. So we'll see how they do in their first game of the season. Do you see the ninth round uh, transpire? And we are going to be seeing NIP on the CT side, Navi on the T, and so we're going to be jumping into our first round in this best of one. It's time to find out how this one will shape up. Flamey, there's no doubt now as recent results have shown that he was a strong addition to Navi, and time has passed and he started to settle into his position. Navi have been looking stronger than uh, than earlier on since the Flamey's early addition, but we're going to be jumping into this one. We do see the CTs opt for four out of the five armors with double flash <coughs> kit for Freiburg. And they do have a uh, smoke and a flash for C's. So to me, that kind of one that says either a B push with smoking off CT spawn or an A push with smoking off archway. But forget that. Guardian picks up the first kill onto Alu, and that opens up their possibilities. And they're going to hammer down on this A side. They're looking for the plant. They're certainly hungry for it. And Forrest has opened up with one. Guardian quick to respond, though, as he puts Exist back in his place. And actually, Forrest was brought down heavily before he did meet his demise. And look at this, the CT side are just stumbling. And we are going to be seeing Seize and Edward pick up the remaining two huh. to bring the first round home. Just one casualty as the bomb goes down as well. Wow. So, Navi, they had a smoke. Seize was the one to hold on to that. But because they got the entry kill on Alu, because Garden picked that up, they didn't need to smoke off Arch side. Instead, Seize sat back at middle, smoked off, uh, kind of towards Banana so no one could push through behind him, and sat in the smoke. And that's when Get Right lurked around. He just walked out of smoke, killed him, and shut down the push entirely from the back. And Navi, a well-executed strategy by them. Yeah, and look at this from NIP. Five smokes across the board with just P250s. No armor. So this is something a bit different. Usually we do sometimes see teams opting for that real force up, get the armor and the pistols, but they're preferring smokes over this one. So perhaps looking to delay Navi. And I mean, you know, Navi are mm. kind of prone to these kind of, I say, slower tactics. Probably not on the second round when they do have those SMGs, but... They're trying to force uh, oh, Navi to go Forrest. towards A with the smokes they have. And force in prime position, can't get the first kill, but finally does pick it up. Falls to the second, though. Flamey gets the kill. Now NIP rotate around, falling one by one. And get right in Freiburg, now the last two alive and a two on four. My P250 is, well, a P250 and a 5.7, this is going to be really tough to pull off. Uh, and Flame is just going to be using that MP7 to great success. He's just going to be hunting down the uh, 8 HP Freiburg. And Navi, again, they've lost two players in two rounds. Really economical success from them. So that's going to be an easy and swift second round on the board for them. Well, we saw NIP they bought, was it five smokes? Beginning yeah, of the round? Five smokes, a couple of p 250s So they had one person smoke off top of Banana. They left Get Right and Freiburg there with a smoke apiece to hold on to B. And they sent everyone else back towards A. I think they used one smoke um, over towards top of the middle. And because of that, they were looking to force Navi to go towards the A site by constantly smoking off B so they could rotate people around to have them there in time. But I guess they didn't expect Navi to go fast. Like you we were saying before, Navi, one of the slower teams, slower paced when it comes to executing T side. And I think they just caught NIP off guard. Oh, that's the pop flash. We know NIP is so very strong on, and they like to try and set up for Iberg or Get Right. And both of them are here, and both in prime position to do some sort of damage. Flash completely avoided by Get Right, but Freiburg is caught between a rock and a hard place, or a terrorist and a sandbag as he does go down. And now we're going to be seeing the T side start to gather force towards that B side, but the bomb and the other two are split out towards A and mid. And the bomb just sitting down. Sees so looking for a couple of kills, but. It's really aggressive to do with that AK. He's, he is backed up by Zeus. Scarring and Flame in the meantime trying to push towards A. Looking for kills, not looking for a commit just yet. Seize does get Exist, and Get Right does respawn. So that's an AK now down. NIP might potentially be able to pick this one up. And it's a three on three. Like, this is still very doable for NIP. The bomb is finally being picked up and pushed back towards, uh, towards B, I would assume. 
So they do have one Swig and one Flash to work with, but get right, he's still there, he's still waiting. He hasn't been able to get his hands on the AK in time, but NIP have all rotated around to help out. Yeah, that's what I was going to point out. Navi have basically let, given NIP subtle, oh, sorry, enough time to get on towards their side. This is going to be big, and Guardian opens up, he gets the double, and that's so integral to the success of that round. We are going to see that one go over towards Navi as he picks up the double, and I mean... NIP could have caught them out there. Guardian just shut them down with the AK, and those invested that investment into the AKs did finally pay off. And we're going to be seeing Navi with that expected 3-0 off the back of the pistol. But now the M4 and M4s are going to be bought out. Lack of head armor for two of the NIP boys. But we are also going to be seeing oh three, I missed Freiburg. But also we are going to be seeing the SMG for Flamey despite his funds, and that's just because he's expecting a distinct lack of head armor. An SMG against lack of head armor is pretty deadly. Well, we've seen Kerrigan do that quite a few times too. I believe he was the man I'm thinking of. Um, where he's like, you know, I'll stick with I'll stick with SMG for a while, build up a little bit more of an economy, depend on my teammates to be the ones to close out the round so I can get a lot of money to buy up the AWP when it matters. And oh. Freiburg catching out, sees through the smoke, just a, a flawless shot by him. Does give the man advantage, and we're seeing something really similar to NIP that we saw when they played against Dinatos. They're smoking up Bomb Banana, they're giving full control over to their, 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 their Get Right Freiburg combo. Um, they're going to constantly keep it smoked off time and time again to force Navi to only go towards A. They're choking them of the map and trying to force them to hit A time and time again and NIP are going to be waiting for this. Smart moves from them and Navi as they push on up Edward has started to try and gain control of apps and it's going to be given to him. You can see NIP a bit more passive towards that pit balcony area. Aloe in library. He's actually in prime position to take down Zeus here if he's not too careful. As bullets are exchanged across the map, it's actually going to be Get Right who's holding that aggressive angle on Banana. So let's get Guardians any sort oh, of Zeus dreams though. he may have had of being Zeus. Zeus. pushed behind. He's in library. He's behind Alu. He's actually going towards CT spawn. They haven't spotted him out. This is so dangerous for Get Right and Fry. They're not even looking in this direction. Oh, that's a frag and a half. Now Freiburg down and Get Right's just going to be panicking into a corner. The Americans call it Emo for a reason because he knows he's going to be in a lot of trouble. He's going to go down. It's a one for one with the Molly, but now three for two. Let's see what the two T's can do. Oh, Zeus pushes towards construction. He might catch out forces. He just goes past and Moshi well, can't get the shots and that's going to be forced taking him down to Edward in a one on three. Very possible for him to pull this off. He needs his first kill. He gets on Exist. Turns around towards Banana. He can't get the kill on Alu. And NIP going to close out their first round of this first half. That could have went way worse for them though. That could have been so dangerous. If Gary didn't get an early kill, if Freiber didn't get an early kill, just shooting through the smoke, that could have been another loss. Whew, not the uh, safest of first buys for the uh, Ninjas in Pajamas, but they do manage to secure it and they are going to be able to put rifles back in their hands. Just the one AK. Actually, no, sorry, tell a lie too. I, keep, I think I'm just ignoring Freiburg at this point. <laughs> but he does pick up the AK as well and managed to scrape that away. And we are going to be seeing that uh, fifth round orb now for Guardian. Flamey using that MP7 to try and get some extra funds for his team and he did manage to uh, pick up the one. Fast smokes and flashes. Look at that. You can just see Navi completely forced back out of banana control. And that is an aggressive play from Guardian. Storming through the smoke orp in hand. And the Molotov made it a costly exchange. But either way, that's an opening pick. And it does enable the T-side to take some sort of control early in banana. And again, one thing that makes you know uh, NIP so strong on the CT side is the ability to take full control of banana. Navi are trying to counter that by pushing people through with the help of flashbangs, with the help of just... Manning up and charging straight through before they can get the smokes down. He gets that control early on. And if they can take that away from NIP, I feel like NIP are going to be struggling in this game. Um, but again, they have it smoked off. They have protection. They have Edward lurking a little bit over towards A. And he's going to catch out Alu with a fantastic headshot. That gives the man advantage, and that leaves Exist all by himself inside a pit. But the bomb is making its way towards B, where Forrest and Get Right are now waiting. They do have two flashes to work with. And Forrest is just going to be setting Get Right up. Once they start to push him, he's going to bounce that flash off of the fountain. It's going to land right in front of them and get right should ideally have easy pickings. Works good in practice. Let's see if they can make this one happen. That's not great timing. Get right did just start walking away and there's going to be a flash to slow him down. Forrest threw out his own and Zeus is watching the perfect angle. Oh, Forrest too quick on the trigger. And now 2v2 as this site push but does start to take shape. He <laughs> takes Forrest with him. Get right is going to be apologizing in comms as now it is a 2v2. And Get right looking to try and keep this B site alive, but Edward's flanking from behind. He's stalling for time. 10 seconds to go. The bomb's going to get planted inside the smoke. Get right going to look for the pick onto Edward, but he gets shut down. Now exists in a one on two. He's got the M4. He's got the kit. He's got a little bit of time to work with, but he doesn't know exactly where they are. You see him smoke, or flashing off CT spawn, expecting them to be there. But Season Edwards set up, tucked in neatly in sight, exists. Can he hit this first shot? He's going to need to even things out, and he can't connect on anything. Edward picks it up, and Navi, they secure the fourth round. A very strong start for them.
started. They set up like a firing line towards Banana. They knew where he was coming from. The flashes made sure of that. And they had one crouch, one standing ready and waiting with their muskets. But we are going to be seeing 4-1 for Navi as they're going to be starting strong on this T side. It's so important to be able to pick up, like, basically money screw the NIP boys after their first initial win. It was costly for their one round, but they do, of course, completely ruin their economy by picking up the round after. Now, once again, this three rifle, one SMG, one AWP is going to be an Avi buy. Now you can see Freiburg being aggressive with Garrett to push down. It's actually Smoke trying to hold them off with the help of the Molotov too. <laughs> and Seize will take it down with the grenade. Now, Get Right going to be by himself, but Navi's making their way towards A. Freiburg, sorry, not Freiburg, Get Right. If he times this right, he could push the smoke and catch Navi completely off guard. No one's really even paying attention towards this backside as Alu's going to be forced back to sit towards Archway. Forced, tucked in neatly on the A site, and exists over towards Pit and Navi. I think they might be falling into a little bit of a trap. This is going to be a deadly crossfire if they can connect the shots, and unfortunately, Exist can't do it. Voroth mm, can, though, and that's going to be one. CZ isn't going to enable in the second as Flamey and Edward chime in with one earpiece. And now all on Alu as he walks through the smoke to his demise. Five now for Navi as the bomb goes down, as if they needed more money at this point. And they are just going to hoover up those pistols that were kindly bought for them by the NIP boys. And what's, uh, what's great to see in this match, too, is the fact that Navi, a relatively strong t sided team on Inferno, and you have NIP, a relatively strong ct side team on Inferno. But the problem is NIP haven't been able to get any economy, any any momentum going for them um, to try to get some sort of pacing. But they do have five grenades or five grenades for the entire team looking to go nade down middle. And this might catch Navi off guard. Yeah, this is that stack. Very stylish from them. And take a big chunk out of two members of the, NI the uh, Navi side. But it's not going to be too successful as we are going to see a wave of frags for Seas. Picks up three himself. One for Zeus as well. And Guardian with the fifth. So... Swift round, NIP just getting the, uh, that's like taking the band-aid off, you know, I'm just saying band-aid just so you understand what I'm saying instead of plaster, but uh, plaster is something you put on walls, bro. No, you put a plaster on your arm. Oh my gosh. But yeah, ripping the band-aid off quickly to get that eco down and done. They did manage to take a weapon away, but that was about it. Either way, this is going to be another full test for NIP, just two lack of head armors, but they're ready and they're waiting to anticipate another slow Navi round. And Forrest has smoked up the bottom banana. Do that from CT spawn. So now they're trying to get their full control of Banana with the help of all these smokes. Freiburg picks the first kill on a Seized, and they have enough smokes to hold them back for a long period of time. Now this is what NIP won. This is how they did so well against Inatas when they played just last week when they won 16-13. Now that's whether or not they can hold on to this area, and more importantly, the players on the A site with Alu, Exist, and Forest hold Navi back from entering that. Freiburg just seems to have no problem, smoke or no smoke, holding Banana. He just seems to have exactly the perfect lineups. Now Guardian, with his rather fabulous AWP, is going to be on the hunt for frags. And NIP have been holding this relatively passive, giving them that early control. Guardian doesn't have any sort of belief that that is clear and going to be throwing out nades to try and clear it. And as soon as Navi start making tracks on towards this side, oh, that's a beautiful angle from Alu. Edward was not anticipating that, and NIP start picking up one on either side of the map. Freiburg elsewhere is going to clear out that presence on B, and now Navi, split and scattered, are going to try and make their way back to uh, potentially open up on towards A. Actually, I thought Flame was going to go join the bomb, but it actually looks like the bomb in the hands of Guardian is just going to linger in mid. Well, they're out of smokes. Fiverr pushed up Banana because he realized they, were, they had nothing left to work with. But instead, Navi going to go for a hit on towards the A site where Existent Forest is going to be the two waiting. Get right on the quick rotate. And let's see what they can do. They're actually going to Molotov over towards Pit trying to catch out uh, Forest, And they get the kill outright. Guardian going to plant inside the smoke. Is this going to push up to try to stop this? And he won't connect the shot for now. But they do have a three on one. And Flamey now all by himself will foul to Exist as he hops over the barrel, over the crate, whatever you want to call it. It's a funny shaped barrel. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and IP will secure their second round of this first half. Yeah. And uh, I mean, Navi, when they lost out those opening picks, it ended up costing them the round. They lost those two early frags, and Freiburg is a huge part of that. He's really integral to NIP. Those four frags he has picked up sitting just in the middle of the scoreboard for NIP have all been crucial. Now, if NIP win this round relatively cleanly, I wouldn't be surprised to see a 9-6 first half for NIP. That's a big if. Because, yeah, I mean, once they have all the money they need for the incendiary grenades, for the smokes to come down to get full control of Banana, it, you can depend on Exist, Alu, and Forest to lock down the A site. They have Forest actually rotating over towards B to help out just in case there was an early rush. But it won't be happening for now, and Guardian's boosted up. Oh, he spots out Freiburg, but he can't connect that first shot. He's been forced to fall back. 
I certainly would. You know how Freiburg is no stranger to whip hitting those sprays through smoke, especially when Guardian had revealed his location. And Get Right and Freiburg, such a deadly duo. And I really want to know where that's going. Get Right's definitely got something up his sleeve with that one. It is a flashbang. Off the skybox, maybe. Either way, another smoke comes out, and that's going to scatter Navi back towards that middle area as time mm. continues to tick away. He's going to throw that flash really high, so if they push through the, the smoke with the flashbang, it would blind them right back, so Freiburg could pick up some kills. In the meantime, the push is coming over to... Zeus and does stop that push from coming in. But now the bomb is heading over towards B. Freiburg, it's all up to him if he can hold on to this push. Oh, the timing on that one. He just ducked away in time. And look at the cost it is for Navi as two fall in the same amount of seconds. And now Freiburg is ready for more. Edward knows exactly where he is, but that's not going to stop Freiburg from wasting even more time. And Get Right is there to avenge his fallen comrade and looking for that final one. Edward's not going to make it easy, but that should be another Ninjas in Pajamas round. What was your statement if, N if N NIP won this one? If they win it cleanly, then they should be able to take it 9-6. As okay. long as they can keep the momentum going with all the grenades. And that was a smart play by Edward. He realized he's probably not going to survive this, but he's going to keep the op away from NIP by throwing Guardians off over the wall so they can't pick it back up. And they kill him after time, so he gets no money. Well done by NIP, but still a little nice little last-ditch effort by Edward to get that op completely out of NIP's hands. Yeah, and their economy is not going to enable them to pick one up. I mean, we haven't seen Ali with an AWP all game. Yeah, and, and when they played against Dinatos, with the way they smoked each other off, neither team picked up an AWP. I think I saw all use it one round, um, but because of there, was, there was such heavy smokes everywhere, neither AWPer was able to actually get some sort of peak uh, where they wanted to. But again, the smoke would be coming down towards the bottom banana. NIP winning two straight, 3-6. And Navi looking to respawn, looking to get some sort of momentum going back in their favor. All right, so Flamey and the rest of his team looking for an AX cute. Smoke's coming in perfectly well placed. This is going to be... And these might catch NIP off guard. They've been, they've been expecting Navi to play slow for the majority of this game. And the quick action that Navi has been able to do, like in round number two, has caught them with their pants down. Definitely an alley. Actually, didn't get caught off by the flash. The Molly's going to come out, and that's potentially going to cause Navi some problems. It does. Flamey comes through, and Get Right's just going to show up out of nowhere with a double. He managed to rotate as quickly as he could, got himself to CT Arch, and he's going to be able to pick up the double now. Numbers aren't favoring the T's, and Navi, after getting so deep into the site, are caught between a bit of a rock and a hard place. It's a nice crossfire between Exist and, and Forest, though, but they have Guardian and Zeus potentially coming in momentarily to help out. Get right, still trying to flank them from the back, and Zeus needs to get out of library. He has the bomb, and Exist going to spot the first Mentor short. Coming out of the balcony, oh, sees, big. picks up the kill, but Forest does respawn. Now, Forest looking for the second. He gets it on to Zeus. Looking for the third. He gets it as well, and Forest picking up a hat trick, shuts them down, and keeps the bomb from being planted. 4-6 now. And here we go. Here's the here's the momentum built up for NIP. They have the money to buy up. They have the money to get all the grenades that they should be uh, should be needing. And this is where Navi have to have to get something going. Do they do they speed things up towards B? Do they rush in past the smokes, past the the Molotovs? Do they hit towards A a little bit quicker? Do they play it slow like they've been doing? Well, we'll find out. And if you have a look at the scoreboard, you can see just one frag for exists so far. Ali with just three. And that's primarily just because of this lack of presence on A from Navi, as well as, of course, Exist holding that pit. Not an easy angle, especially when someone like oh Seize is hitting shots on Freiburg, who takes down the man himself with uh, another shot through smoke. I want to know the percentage of shots Freiburg has hit just blindly. I say blindly, spraying through smoke. That man's probably got a perfect idea of exactly the timing behind oh this God, one. And they're Forrest. just picking them apart. Forrest with two as Edward and Flamia are trying to claw something back for Navi, but with three Swedes still standing. Yeah, I'm going to find a thing. Freiburg wraps it up. And you said 9-6. NIP take two big steps and big rounds towards that, that goal. That an unintentional bait by Alu. Like, the <laughs> yeah. peek out to throw a smoke, you spot like, oh, I should hide in corner again. But then Forrest just comes around right when they tr try to push into him, picks up two big kills. Well done by them. And NIP now on a four-round winning streak. Again, buying up everything they possibly could use for utility. Navi going to be on the eco with some tech nines. A Deagle for Guardian. Love seeing the Deagle in, in that man's hands. Uh, NIP looking to ideally take their sixth round. Now, just the Tech Nines for them. The only armor on Edward. Oh, oh that is going to be making Guardian a little bit furious as Freiburg does what he does every single round. <laughs> there's smoke and there's a frag as Freiburg picks it up again. Now, Navi, just four players remain for them and they make it three as Exist is going to find Flamey. 
These Tech Nines are only going to get them so far, and Freiburg's picking up more and more as Get Right is there to once again pick up the trade. And Edward finally shutting down this B defense duo, but it may be too little too late, as of course NIP will have rotated. But I mean, Navi, they invested in Tech Nines. Oh, as I say that, Edward managed to snatch the M4 before going down and snatched a frag onto Ali. But I mean, that wasn't an efficient one for NIP. Slight investment of Tech Nines for Navi and took three CTs with them. Yeah, it wasn't most efficient. Like, it wasn't the cleanest of rounds for them, but luckily they have a little bit of bank to fall back on um, and still be able to buy up all the smokes and center grenades, flashes that they possibly need to hold Navi back. But, you know, Navi, again, losing five straight, they don't have an answer for this. Like, once they've kind of got money screwed in the beginning, when NIP, you know, got some momentum, got a bank rolling for them, they were unable to stop, you know, the control of banana that NIP's gotten. They were unable to execute any hits towards A. This is incinerator grenade. It's going to work out really well for this. Edward just charges straight through, and maybe that's what they needed to break this B defense. Really, really rinse and repeat for NIP on this B hold. We've seen Get Right throw the same molly, the same flash, the same peep from Freiburg. And teams are going to look at this and try and work out a way to, uh, to deal with it. Nice pick over the smoke, though, onto Zeus. And we haven't seen too much from Guardian with that AWP, it has to be said. He's got nine frags, majority of them though rifles. Yeah, see this is what Dinatas learned against NIP in uh, the match last week. With the amount of smokes that NIP invests towards B, the potential to pick anyone off with an AWP towards uh, towards that B site is, is so low, it's so slim. So they just actually didn't invest into it at all. They're like, alright, well we realize there's no way we're going to hit any of these AWP shots. There's no way we're going to get anyone in position to land them. And Navi, I think this might go, might need to go for a little adaptation in that, but they're still counting on Guardian to maybe hit a shot or two. And we'll see if they're able to pull it off. Edward pushing straight to the Molotov, though. I'm not sure Alu knows he's there. And Edward he did. can come he's up big. Up. It's one good smoke, but I mean, get right. So consistently picking up these frags from behind. Oh, they're pushing. Are they really? They're going towards City Spawn. Forrest is waiting. He makes some noise, though. They know he's there now, but he picks up the first kill on Edward. That's big. He has Alu pushing him from the other side. This is going to be so dangerous. Navi, they have nowhere to run. You called it, Jason. 7-6. We'll see if they can get all the way to 9, but this momentum starting to build and the AWP now in the hands of Alu, who's been put in that position, just holding that CT arch side. Hasn't been going fantastically for him, at least that's what the frags say. I well, feel like Inferno is one of those snowballing maps. That, like, if you get your economy stabilized, because you can afford all these incendiary grenades, all these Molotovs, all these smokes, and of course the guns, that it's so hard to break Whoa. the defense. Frost has and got that's, a strong arm. Yeah, he does. And that's how Navi got all their early rounds, was because not, our NFP didn't get stabilized. Get right, exist. Picking up one apiece. Wow, this was a buy round out of Navi, and they were just shutting them down. There it is, round of eight for NIP. One. Blink and you miss it, and NIP secure eight. 21 seconds, another round. 21 seconds, and all T's disappear. Yep. And all of a sudden, oh, wow. we are going to be seeing Alu stick with the AWP. I mean, he's picking it up for the first time. Right, okay, second time. He, it's, I guess he wants to go for a quick peek towards middle. I mean, it's been very, uh, very difficult for Guardian to find a pick. Let's see if on the other side of things, the other side of the coin, Alu has been known to be really quite aggressive holding this middle area, and he's just he's so cautious of the early flashes. Navi, though, not putting any out. It's that wall bang from Edward. Just trying to bait something out potentially. Is that we are going to be seeing the Molly to slow down that push and perfectly timed? Edward not going to go for the angle. I think Navi realized, well, let's stop hitting towards B. There's no point. Get right invested in a Zeus as well, just in case. Navi get all CQB on him. And here comes the push, and Alu misses the crucial shot. They're just backing into Boiler, and he's going to be able to get straight out of there unscathed, or for now, as this is a very strong reposition from him. This is an angle that we know Alu to thrive on before. And Navi grouped up. They have managed to make some sort of push, but NIP have had plenty of time to rotate, and they're ready for this. Oh, <laughs> get right wasn't. And this is this is when Navi just rotate back towards B. There's no spooks left to use on the side of NIP, and they are able to pick up another kill. It's going to be a three on four, and it looks like they might con uh, commit towards this uh, this actually B site as they do run two people towards CT spawn. But Viber picks up the kill to Edwards, sharing the push down on B. C still has the bomb towards alt middle. And Forrest is just seeing library trying to stop them from pushing in back towards A and Fry. Oh, it just looks away at the wrong second, the wrong millisecond. And Seeds picks up the kill and exists. They now know where the bomb is. And Forrest is looking to stop this plant from coming down. But he has to worry about Flamey. 20 seconds to go and the bomb hasn't even made its way in towards site. And Forrest playing so smart. He's backing into site realism. They have to come to him. And this could be easy kills.
This is just the brain of NIP. Oh, it's so crucial for us. Just two points of health. He's worried about his Bound back, down. but That's sees no time. That's going to be time. Time ticking away, and somehow Flamey realizes it's not going to happen. And you said it. It has happened. Ninjas in pajamas pick up nine off the back of an incredibly strong start from the uh, Navi side. They got the ball rolling. You said it's snowball -y. And 9-6 yep. to end that half. Not too shabby. That, I mean... That's just typical Inferno, I, ha I have to say. You know, NIP, they get the ball rolling. They get uh, the, the economy again. I hate to repeat myself over and over. Keep going. Yeah, but man. it's it's true. They get the economy. They get the, the Molotovs and center, or the center grenades, the, the smokes to hold them back from B so they can't push through. Yeah. And when you do that, it's like, oh, how are you going to penetrate the B site? You rush people through, and they die one by one. Everybody's yeah. there to just spray on the down. Then you have to worry about Freiburg constantly hitting you through the smoke. I mean, if I was on Navi's side, you'd have just got so tired of it. You'd be like, guys, stop dying to... Going into T, I mean, we've seen some hit and miss performances from Navi on their CT side. They sub they sometimes seem to have a really good understanding of where their teammates are playing, especially now they've had Flamey for a bit longer. We saw mm -hmm. them at the ESL, ESCA Pro League. That's exactly what we're doing now. The, <laughs> the, Pro, the League Pro League finals. Yeah, yeah. that happened just uh, what, a month the same, or two ago. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, we saw them there. It, they were, We did see them kind of sometimes struggle to hit their pace on the CT side, especially if mm -hmm. they started there. They started T, we could be seeing something a bit better from them. Well, we'll find out in just a few moments as we do get back into the game. But, you know, with the way Get Right and Freiburg were working towards B, oh, just, I mean, some of the shots he was hitting. Just look at that spray coming in, catching out Guardian perfectly uh, with the control. You know, if they're playing like that, NIP, I mean, sky's the limit. I, I really wonder, though, 9-6, I mean, they pulled off, what was it, 11, well, 11 rounds against Dinitas on the CT side yeah. when they played against them last week. I feel like they wanted more rounds, but again, they didn't get the stable economy at the beginning. And I'm a little bit worried when it comes to T side for them. For me, T side Inferno is it their strength? Mm. But yeah. I think it comes down to how Navi decide to hold on to these sites. Will they be aggressive towards Banana? Will they lock it down with all the smokes and cut an IP off to only like a portion of the map? And how much freedom are they going to give Alu? Exactly. Will he be able to pick up the op T side? He couldn't yeah. do it against Dinatos because of all the smokes. Will he be able to do it against Navi this time? You saw Guardian. <sighs> Effective, not, not effective, doesn't even come close to, to how he did with the op, unfortunately. You know, not to bash on him, but he just could not get an opportunity I mean, to use it. Dude, that's not a dig at Guardian. That's a, yeah, that's a more of a kind of statement about how strong an NLP's nade presence was yep. on that CT side. You were seeing, uh, we saw basically rinse and repeat every round. I said it while we're casting. I just want to kind of reiterate just how powerful that was. Mm. The deep smoke banana straight off the bat from Forest. So every round that's being thrown yep. out. Backed up then by the pop flash from Spool straight over to, over to banana to mm. for, for get right to peak. Followed up by that, you had a deep smoke from Freiburg, um, early molly from get right, another flash. They were yep. both, they had so much going in, just invested into locking Banana down and gaining that early control. And that can be daunting for some teams. You can actually see the molly going out there from Freiburg. These are the names we were just talking about, the pop flashes. Freiburg was so very ready and they had this very, they've got a great synergy in terms of just trading out frags as well. As get right and Freiburg will just do time after time after time. That was a 21 second round that we see the uh, NIP boys pick up. I mean, 21 seconds for a round, that's that's primarily off the back of those nades. There was a lot of flash Navi players. There was a lot of just kind of dis distortion. Does that sound, does that sound like a good Disruption. summary? Disruption. Thank you. Distortion, that's something. What's that? You can distort a T side? You can. Disrupt sounds 10 times better though, Jason. I appreciate that, dude. <laughs> He's got my back. Oh, I, I'm not going to lie. That's happened twice now. Lauren saved my back with words as well. Mm. I forgot economy at one point. It happens. An ecosystem. How often do you use that word, casting? What, economy? A oh. lot. Ecosystem. <laughs> ecosystem, <laughs> less, yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, one thing we didn't see on, on NAP side was any sort of change up when it came to strategy. I mean, we saw maybe like one round where they decided to, hey, let's, you know, be aggressive and and push down middle a little bit more. We saw with, actually when they lost the first round, um, I think the second round they needed fully down middle. Yep. Or not for that. It would turn down to banana and middle to try well, to catch them off. Yeah, yeah. I think it was like around two, three, maybe even four in there. Um, and they tried to like lock them off. That was like, the only big change in strategy they went for. But once they got their dedicated holds, it was like, all right, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, keep winning the rounds, don't drop anything, lose out on two, maybe three members. But then pff, Navi just couldn't get into sight. I feel like if Navi kind of caught onto the fact that, as we could see, since we can obviously see like everything, yeah. that uh, NIP had no smokes or Molotovs, multiple rounds running uh, left for Banana. Like when it was about 30 seconds left, like in the last round in particular, they could have rotated straight back towards Banana. We had Freiburg left to hold. And because of that, he would have had nothing. He would have had nothing to hold on to. As long as you win the aim battle, the trade, you're going to hit the bomb down and you get into the after situation, which unfortunately Navi could not do a majority of the time.
Yeah, I mean, it was no easy feat for them, and they couldn't actually manage to pick up anything, really, after the ball started rolling yep. for NIP. It is now, though, time for us to jump into our second half. We did just have a slight disconnect from one of the Navi players, but we are back, and we are ready to kick this one off. And once again, we're going to be seeing an all-too-familiar story on that CT by four stacks of armor and a CZ smoke this time for Flamey. I want to know where the uh, smoke's going to go. It looks like it might go towards the top of Banana as they're kind of leaving him by himself as Zeus is just acting as a quick rotate. Get towards B if he needs to, get towards A if he needs to. And with that flashbang coming in, he will rotate over uh, as quick as possible. But you have exists with a smoke, a flash, and a grenade. To me, that says they want to hit towards B. But Edwards already pushed on middle very aggressively just to spot them out. And they know they're over towards Banana, but he's got to back away with his life oh. and he does escape. That's a lot. That's a, a lot of information. It's allowed get right, though, to get into inside boiler without even being spotted. Look at this. He could put out so much destruction. Dest destruction. <laughs> Words are hard today. <laughs> if he uh, were to push up, but now the push is coming towards B out of NIP. And Flamey and Zeus will hold them down for quite a long time. So after second guessing themselves, they're going to be starting pushing in into the jaws of Navi as it is going to be a quick three. Gerai and Alu are the ones remaining. And Alu's already taken two Navi members down. Can he find the third as he's going to be backing away from the uh, B defense, Edward was the only man there, and he's going to be joining his buddy, his partner in crime, get right in that middle area. Guardian only knew how close he was to them. He's going to spot them crossing over, but he gets dropped. Wow. Alu picks up the kill. C is going to be defending from Arch, though. Can he hold them back? And he gets one. Alu does shut him down. That's the fourth kill of the round. Can he get the ace? He's going to get the bomb down. And Edward, he has no kid. He has to play this quick. He's hungering for the ace, and... There's nothing to say he can't. Still decent on health. Does have a smoke grenade as well if he needs to draw out some time. And Edward is going to start to pre in the perfect oh. spot. Wow. Brain switched on for Edward. The pistol round king does manage to prevail for his team. Pick up where they left off. And we are going to be seeing whew, a sigh of relief as Navi secure seven. That's to say, what is it with NIP on Inferno? We had get right pick up at ace just last week versus Dinatas. Unfortunately, Alu couldn't do it with a pistol round that time. But they get the bomb down. They get the money. The question is now, do they want to buy up? and surprise Navi and try to beat them in a little bit of aim dueling. And it looks like they might go for it. Alu has the AK and armor. Uh, he has pistols for us, the team. And NIP are going to go for the early the early buy. Let's see if they can do it, though. They have two Molotovs. This is such a heavy investment. And usually when you see the Molotovs, you expect that, that, that them to be used to clear out that B site. So influential when looking to uh, execute a push on towards B. Seized and Flamey are going to be that duo on B. They're going to be the get right and Fl Freiburg of Navi. We're going to be seeing already a bit of scouting done by the man himself. This time trying to take early control on the T side. And those three pistols, mm -hmm. sorry, three Tech 9s, one PT-50. Oh, and they're leaving, deadly. they're leaving Alu alone in middle. Like, he was actually pushed up relatively far. I'll get back to that point in just a few seconds. You see Flame pick up the kill, but he's blocked off by, by the flames behind him. And he's looking for a single kill. He gets onto Exist. He won't be able to get a third, I would assume. But he gets it anyways, and he just they can't kill him. Oh my god, he only took another one with the P2K. Now Alu, that AK is going to be snatched away as well. They're going to be happy to take that one away from them. As they drop down the FAMAS and Tech 9 shopping for everyone. So that's going to be a pretty efficient defense. Flamey, big props to him. Using that MP7 and those 10 points of health he had left to great, great effect. He shouldn't have survived that no long. Uh, just, just kind of uh, uh, ducking behind the sand, uh, sandbag so many times. But uh, I was trying to point out that Alu, he oh. pushed up middle by himself. Pretty far, but he's the only one that had a real gun on his team. I was surprised to see them actually go for that when they could have had, um, you know, someone else close to him to pick up the AK if he did lose it, if he did lose, like, an aim battle. But either way, NIP have to live with their choices. They do have a P252 of them. And they did pick up the first kill as NIP, or, uh, Navi get really aggressive pushing wow. down middle. Yeah, Zeus pinpoint accuracy with the FAMAS. As we are just going to see the frags come on in. Alu just holding T-spawn as we see an aggressive push. Oh, Exist, he tried to go for the plant. He came out of uh, he came out of balcony with Get Right. And he tried to just plant it down as quick as he possibly could. And Navi just caught on a little bit too quick. If Get Right picked up that kill onto the man that was in Boiler, that would have been a plant. That would have been a lot of money for uh, for NIP. But now they're forcing up into round number four, uh, the second half. And they do have a lot of AKs. I mean, they do have a decent amount of utility. That's a pretty knife. Flip knife fade. <laughs> Either way, they do. You're absolutely right. Those AKs could be a threat, but Guardian is going to try and do what Alu couldn't, as he's going to be looking at just catch a glimpse of the heels of one of those terrorists. Not going to be enough, though. Backing away. He doesn't want to be caught out early, and Forrest is already looking to start an offensive. Flamey going true Freiburg style. Seizes alongside him as they hold hands on this aggressive push, and they are going to take two NIP members, two cogs out of this terrorist machine. And that's going to slow them right down. And one thing NIP did decently well against Denatos last week when they played on this map, when it came to these deep smokes, they would flash each other through really well, like really cleanly. 
and they're able to actually pick up the kill, if not one for one trade. Um, I wonder if they're going to be doing that yet again. I would assume they will be going that same route when they can afford a little bit more utility or when Navi commit a little bit more when it comes down to this bottom banana. But they're slowly making their way through here, seized. Just with that P250 out. Now switching up to the smoke is looking to hold them back, and with that smoke alone, he should be able to hold in there for quite a long time. He doesn't have a flash. Zeus is in CT spawn, ready to rotate if he's needed. Zeus has been playing this flexible role, just hanging around speedway area. Did it on the pistol round, actually going to be doing it on the buy as well. As they don't want to kind of over over rotate or second guess themselves too much, and Zeus is kind of that backup. And it's going to be needed as the nades are going to start raining in. And Zeus is going to be calling for it. As actually the counter flash is perfect, slows them down right away. And Zeus is going to be in prime position for this push. As the smokes come out, and here comes the opening frag. Seized one for one trade off. Zeus does go down though. As now it's going to be all onto. It was going to be all onto Seized as Exist gets two vital openers, but Forrest falls and now all onto the man himself as he got just seven points of health. Or the AK as Exist has picked up three. Can he find the fourth? He's got seven points of HP. He's gonna be sitting back towards Dark, guarding with the op. He's gotta switch to the pistol. He's looking for the kill. He gets the M4 in hand, but he doesn't have the, the time to get the gun out. And that is gonna be exist closing out the round, getting four kills. And does give them the lead at 10 to 9. I feel like if Guardian just knew he had 7 HP, he could just stop the pistol, the P2K would have been enough. Yeah, the P2K would have been plenty, but I mean, everything Guardian was thinking was, was wise, it was right, you know, M4 great, better for the exchange. He probably wasn't expecting Ex Exist to challenge That's like what that. I was thinking, like, I mean, Exist just got confident, he heard footsteps, and instead of everyone else doing like, okay, I've got no health, hold the angle, he went right, he's not going to expect this, turned up, went aggro, and it brought the round home. Great four frags there from the NIP player. And NIP, their buy is a little shoddy. It has, has to be said. Two SMGs, two Galils. No, sorry, that's a lie. That's an AK. Two, Galil, two, uh, two AKs, two SMGs, and a Galil. Get there eventually. And now, it's the Navi side going to be doing exactly what they did before. This is rinse and repeat. Aggressive play from Flamey and worked out beforehand. I'd be interested to see if he can do it again. Well, there's no more smokes actually left for Banana. So Navi can't hold them back any longer after this. And with a minute to go on the clock, like you would imagine, NIP are going to notice this and potentially push towards Banana as long as they can catch Flamey. And they will be very light on the defense because all they have will then will be Seized, who's just sitting on well, no head armor and just the M4 with no smokes, flashes, anything to work with. And Freiburg slowly making his way through. And I imagine Flamey can't pick this up. Oh, he gets it though, gets the headshot, but he's not going to get the second as Alu charges straight through. Seized does return. That's the bomb now down. And look at this, Zeus able to respawn. Get right with the ump. Does secure one. And now he's going to push, I would imagine, through CT to help out Exist, who's pushing up banana, trying to rescue the bomb. Edward pushed up in apartments. And get right, I don't think he's going to be spot out. Exist took it the one-for-one one trade. But now get right in a one-on-two. Can he do what Exist did just in the round prior? And they, oh, they hear him. They hit him with the smoke. And Guyan shuts the round down. 10-10, all tied up. That's going to be difficult for their economy. NIP going to be a little bit money screwed off the back of that one. They picked up the one prior. And that's going to put them on pistols. As we are once again going to be seeing Navi manage to equalize. 10-10 the scoreline and their CT side is looking not too shabby. Picked up the first three, now on to the fourth. We'll see if they can continue through this one. This time the MP7 for Zeus. He's going to be trying to do something with that. He's well aware there's going to be a distinct lack of armor and that's when the SMG does come into its own. See where this one goes. Get right has managed to make him his way in towards apps, but Flamey already draws blood. It's going to be Freiburg first to go down. Of course, NIP not looking too favorable in this one, as you would always expect, but they're just going to be hungry to take something away from the Navi boys. Let's see if they can take anything away. They do have a Tech 9, P250, a Get Right and Exist. And they do have, unfortunately, no utility to work with, but they're looking to push up. If they can catch out Zeus, this might open up the A site, but Zeus and Garn, a nice crossfire comes in. I don't imagine yeah. NIP not going to get much more than anything in this round. And I, or a Navi, a strong, flawless round out of them. That's what you get NIP for starting to win and then losing the following. Now, it's going to be once again those Galils and AKs, an all too familiar story for NIP at this point. And Navi, I'm surprised they're sticking with the SMG. Zeus, he's got plenty of money. He wanted a rifle, but no, he's going to be doing it. Maybe I mean, you pick up two frags and your economy is going to be sound, so we'll see. I th well, maybe also he wants to uh, get a op for Guardian. If he can get a couple of kills, get the extra 600 rolling for each one. 
you know, nice little stable economy from that's what that's what got NIP going. Like once they hit the stable economy, you know, the money just kept coming in. They just couldn't lose rounds. And Navi are looking for a little bit more of the same. They do smoke off towards Archway. But they're not committing yet again. They have Gerrit trying to lurk in towards the balcony. Towards his apartments. But they have to be careful of the backside flamey. He might be a little bit aggressive, like we saw Get Right and Fiverr both do uh, when they were on that CT half. So are they gonna boost it? They're thinking about it. Exist is on top of his head, trying to look over towards Banana Area, and I know that's not a uh, particularly favourable peak because we saw Freiburg just demolish the uh, Navi side when they were on that T-half, but nope, not going to be happening, and now the time is of the essence, as we do to see 45 seconds on the clock and no commitment towards either site just yet. The there's, bomb there's no utility on the Navi side. They have no flashes, no smokes, no nades, and neither do NIP. This is going to be a really rough uh, push if they do want to go for B, with 35 seconds to go with the bomb, slowly making its way, I would imagine, towards B. This is going to be this is going to be a sloppy take or a sloppy hold. It depends on who comes out better on the aim battle. And they are going to be trying to make it in. It's going to be flamey first to draw. As we are going to be seeing Galil VSMG Zeus down. And now the numbers still favoring Navi for now. The bomb is going to way towards A. And I don't think the CTs were quite expecting this one. Navi quick to rotate. They need to move fast as Get Right gets such a crucial one. Edward was really the only man on the scene. And with him down and out, this is going to have to be a that was a great, a great fake to throwing those two men towards Banana, but you know, right, waiting inside apartments. He's going to look to pick up the kill and flame. He gets it, and now C is going to wow. fall to Alu. It's all in Guardian's hands, who gets taken down by Alu again. Alu picking up to get right, picking up to NIP. They tie things up at 11 apiece. And that was really strong from NIP. Baiting out towards that B, you actually saw the frag get exchanged, and... I think Zeus started to get a little lance in his pants when he saw this, the action going on on B. He started, got a little antsy and actually got pranked out from Boiler. And so now, level playing field once again. Both sides do have the weaponry. The uh, risk Zeus took didn't quite pay off with the MP7. And now let's see how this round shapes up. Seized back along Banana. But look at that duo as we're going to see Flamey and uh, Zeus work together to bring down Freiburg. That's a big exchange, and Edward does prevail up against Get Right in apps, and that's going to give them so much control. And now this is a round that Navi cannot lose. They cannot falter on this CT side. And they've got plenty of nades to back them up. That's a big stack on the other side of NIP. Ready to go for something. And they don't have money either if they do lose this round. So definitely throwing everything they have into this. IP have pretty much three men stacked over towards B, where C is going to be a little bit light. Zeus will rotate in to help out. Zeus doesn't have a smoke, doesn't have anything to really hold them off with. Is uh, seized, able to throw his last one in. And here comes the flashes. Exists. He's charging straight through, and you can see how blind each of them are. Zeus back towards CT, not able to help too much. Is able to respond onto seized, and Forrest getting shot through CT spawn. Looks like the bomb might get planted. 35 seconds ago, Zeus coming around quickly though, looking to stop it just by spraying through. He oh. gets the kill onto Alu. The bomb is now not down, not planted. Forrest able to respawn though back on Zeus with one kill. He's got two more men to find before he gets the bomb down. There's a man coming up banana as well to stop this from happening. He gets the kill on a flamey. Now in a one on two situation, 18 seconds to go. Edward on 19 points of health. Oh no! If only that nade went oh. towards banana. That could have been a one on one, but he might get the plant behind fountain. He's actually trying to fake it out. Just nine seconds left, and Guardian's not falling for that trickery as they do secure the round. And this one's going to be in for the long haul, it seems. As Navi looking solid on this CT side. That's another money screw situation then for the NIP guys. They picked up that previous round and screwed up in the second. Now, gonna be, is it going to be just tech nines and nades, I assume? We're going to be saying, I see a smoke and flash on the side of Exist as he's going to be trying to do something. But Navi, they're looking solid. I said it can sometimes be a bit hit and miss, and they seem to be all hit at this point. Mm. Exist is this actually the sole man towards middle, too. And like you said, with the smoke and flash. I'm wondering where he's actually going to be throwing that. <clears throat> will it be towards uh, towards short or towards arch? Looks like it will be towards arch. So are they going to charge straight to short to try to take them with a close range battle with these pistols? And Garn going to miss a couple of shots, but doesn't miss those last two. He secures three kills now in the round. Force able to respond as he does jump into pit. I'm not going to get much more than that. And Javi now have a two round lead, 13 to 11. And in their debut in the ESL ESA Pro League, they could take down NIP and secure themselves their first win of the season. Yeah, put them on the table with a bang. It's uh, the possibility, especially besting a team like NIP. NIP, though, have been struggling. Let's not forget that 16-3 result, or even the 16-11 against Virtus Pro in the prior two games. 16-3 was on cash, if I'm not mistaken, as well. 
As we are going to be jumping into this one. Zeus, the only man who's uh, without a weapon. He's going to be rocking the armor. Full armor, full nades, 5 7. I say full nades, actually, just lacking the one. But NIP, they're fully bought into this. They've spent as much as they can. They want to avoid that daunting 14 15 scoreline. They've got mollies. They could go for something towards that uh, B slash middle area, depending on where the uh, the Navi side let them. And they have a lot of Molotov, so I'm assuming they're going to look to push up B and then just burn out Flame if he's sitting back towards New Box or, or back towards Oranges. Um, but the help of that smoke, it's going to buy a little bit of time. And we'll be Molotov back again, back towards site as NFP do slowly gain ground. And here comes the smoke to hold them back. Seized, able to rotate in to help out, and Flame be able to just spam through the smoke just like Freiburg. And get that kill on to get right. This is what they've been trying before. It hasn't worked out too well in the past. We're going to see what situation NIP can emerge from this one. And that's a big frag. Flaming out down on the side. It's going to be Navi in a retake scenario. And look at this aggressive play from Freiburg. Straight to construction. Traded out. They have the numbers and the time is of the essence now as the bomb's going to start ticking away and that smoke's going to put a bit of a spanner in the works as Navi are finally going to gather their resources and try and maybe, just maybe, make a dent in this site. Well, Forrest able to come up, getting one, able to get a second as a little bit of team damage was in there. Now on a one-on-one, -on -one, Edward on two HP, Forrest on 74 with two kills under his belt. And this is going to be tough. The bomb is taking away, not a lot, a lot of time left to work with as he smokes in. And he's just trying to bait out the defuse or trying to bait out Forrest. And Forrest jumps over, gets the kill on <laughs> Edward God. nonetheless. And NIP on the Force up, they do secure the round. And look at that, Na'Vi, 13-12, one round lead. Not a lot of money to work with. It looks like we might be all tied up at 13 apiece after this round. Oh my lord, that's big. That is really big from NIP. That was a round Navi would really hungry for. That is going to mess up their economy somewhat. And considering all the kills they got in that round too, they couldn't pick up the guns. Like that was the that was the big downside that was pure tech to that. Like they got, yeah. yeah, they got the kills, but they only got one in four salvage from that. And as you saw there, we do have force at 28 kills and 16 deaths. The second closest person to them is on 17. 11 kill difference between the two. Real stand-up player of this match. And now slowing things back up again. We do have you know, the pistol by a Navi, but no armor. And they do have the two smokes to potentially hold them off towards B. It's on C's, it's on Zeus. And we'll see, NIP, they don't want to throw this round away. They don't want to give this one up, because if they do, their money situation will be screwed. Yeah, this is crucial. They need to make it clean as well. As more and more mollies start to line the streets of Inferno. Taking their time with this one. Any slip up would be very costly, as Jason has already said. Now, if you're holding all the right angles, you can see Edward is just going to be hanging on out on that balcony. One to the head, one to the body. That's all that's needed, and we'll see if this one is going to shape up nicely. And here they go. This is going to be a standard NIP push. They start this side. They set their sights on A, and that's good. Damage not enough, though, as they are going to be forcing Zeus back into. The uh, site area flash coming out as well. Get right gets another, and Navi is starting to crumble, and damage is being done, but still no frags. Yeah, no frags, unfortunately, at all, as you do have Force at 2 HP, Freiburg at 8 health, and Flaming now the last man alive, looking for maybe some exit frags, maybe just some sort of kills to hurt the economy out of NIP, maybe pick up a gun and escape. That might just be, that might just prove to be a little bit too difficult uh, for him, but NIP, again, trying to stabilize their economy a little bit in these final rounds. That should this be a should flame. be a kill. Uh, it does get one. One except a second does get right does shut him down. And again, almost a flawless round out of NIP. Tying things up. A necessary flawless round. You already highlighted just how important that was for them. He's close to the 30. Forrest on that 29 mark. Nine frags away from the man behind him. Get He's right. averaging more than one kill a round. That's, that's pretty phenomenal. That's really tough to do. Uh, you would imagine, oh, one kill per round. That's not hard at all, but... Take into it account really your ecos. Yeah, yep. and take into account, like, the team you're playing against. Like, this isn't some some shoddy silver team. This is, you know, one of the best teams in the world. Forrest. Try to find an open assist. He's got hyper aggressive up down banana. He's backed up by Flamey as well. He's got his brother in arms by his side as Flamey does start to fire out. But, but they have no flashes. Like, they have one flash on Flamey, who's going to be holding towards B. They have four smokes to work with to hold them back from Banana, and I'm imagining they're going to commit every smoke to hold NIP over towards this A site, where it's easier to retake than B. But this is dangerous. If if if, if Navi can't win this round, NIP could be on match point. They have, like, no money. Yeah, absolutely spot on. And, you know, this, this kind of smoke's being thrown out from Navi. They're so limited, and there's going to be a matter of time as... Freiburg is all too familiar with smokes down banana. He knows how to deal with them, and that's back away 
and watch the time tick away. The back and away, the Joe decides that it's not a risk worth taking, especially at such a crucial point as these two teams seesaw for an advantage. They've got plenty of nades, still NIP, 35 seconds, and it's going to be a big, scary execute starting to form towards A. Edwards in prime position, the flash isn't going to be avoided, though, but that's perfect for positioning from him. He's going to be ready now as Freiburg is once again trying to bait out this defense on B. Try and keep them there. It looks like the rotate's actually coming in. Who is that? That's going to be Guardians on his way towards B, and they're going to completely take the bait. It may very well be a bait and switch, but that bomb in the hands of Exist is on the way to A. That's crucial. Edward has opened up, and all of a sudden, Exist is in a really sticky situation with just 10 seconds left, and he can't get that bomb down. Oh, he's got a little bit of time, but let's see. He charges straight, and he's going to get the bomb planted, but Zeus is going to charge straight to stop it from getting down, and he <gasps> misses the first couple shots. The bomb gets planted. They get the money from that. A little bit of a mess up from Zeus, but we've seen that 2-3 split before out of NIP where it worked out with the two men pushing towards B to distract while the three men charge straight in, but Navi not fooled this time. And that... Uh, Edward's frag. One frag determined the victor of that one, and that was just taking down the bomb carrier. Or the bomb carrier's bodyguard, I should say. I, uh, that bomb plant, like, that should not have gone down. Hey, Dad, that was just... That, that should not have been Zeus. planted. That should have been a kill. Zeus was like, right, easy frag. He probably looked away from his screen, like, talking to someone. You imagine, like, how much money or how much utility it gives NIP in general with the extra money they get from the bomb plant. Like, you can afford extra smokes, extra flashes, molotovs, you know, maybe the gun you know, that you couldn't afford before. And NIP, I mean, yeah, it says 14-13, but still very much on a seesaw. Not not really sure which team's going to win out on this, and that's big. a kill coming for Seized on a Freiburg. It's aggressive banana play on either side, just kind of Navi fighting fire with fire, it seems. Quite literally, as you can see, distinct lack of mollies on the uh, CT side. Now, as shots are rattled off, it's going to come down to, once again, NIP trying to find the opener. Navi have uh, kind of changed their ways. Oh, Flamey, that's again another big frag exists, goes down, and this man alongside sees this B defense has just taken two big steps towards that 15th round. Let's see, Forrest smoking off short. Looks like he might want to push towards Archer. Just cause a little bit of a distraction as Alu and Get Right are the two to push over towards me. That nade doing some decent damage on Forrest, down to 50 HP. And look at Flamey, and look at Seize. They're just waiting for this push to come in. But with 30 seconds to go, with a smoke on Zeus, and with smokes and flashes to work with out of uh, Get Right and Alu, this very well could be a B take if Forrest can just distract long enough and he can't get the kill on a Guardian. Now the rest of NIP, they have to move, they have to execute towards B, and they're being flashed up wildly, blind as a bat as they try to make their way through the site. And Get Right gets one on the flame, he does open it up. Yeah, but look at their health bars, not much between them, about 60 points of health between the two. It's not going to stop Alu though, as he does take down Cease. Edward's there though, and that's going to shut it all up. Guardian puts a bow on it, and now just one round away from the 16 and a victory in their debut here in the CSGO ESL ESEA Pro League. And NIP, they don't have much money to work with. You see an AK picked up for Forrest, the rest just sitting on pistols. They need this round to stick in it. But I don't know if they can do it. Forrest hasn't picked up a kill in what, like the last two, three rounds now? And NIP have been depending on him to really perform in this game, but let's see how they do. They have what, four smokes, they have a molly, four flashes and a grenade. Forrest being forced to push straight through the smoke, oh. gets the kill on a guard and when he wasn't expecting it, and that's the opening they needed. Yeah, and he is just going to be sprinting oh. around. He's going to wrap around. That's a big one from Forrest. Oh. Two swift frags. Exist was there as well with a Tech-9 onto Zeus. And now the TTs, they're scattered. They're saving. And they they're have just, to. Yeah, well, they're going to realize that it's going to come down to the final round. Yeah, two on five, and you don't have that much money to spend. You need to be able to save up the guns to rest your team. Wow. Whew. Forrest. I mean, like I was just saying, he hasn't really picked up any kills in the last few rounds, and he charges straight through a Maltov and a Spoke, picks up the kill in the Guardian, and just opens up the He just site. grabs his team, puts them on his back, and say, we are not going down just yet. <laughs> well done by him. And now Navi trying to save their guns, flaming the bomb banana, seized towards construction. And up here trying to chase these down. But I feel like it's just going to be a little bit too tough to take the gu ha a gun out of the hand. Possible, but he gets the kill and exist, and they will maintain their two guns for the next round. Now going to the final round of regulation time in this Ooh. second match of the day. You know, there's actually, those exit frags are actually going to do pretty good work. Drops are going to come in. We are going to see, actually, I was, say, I was saying that they work, managed to do the economy, managed to put exist just on a tech nine, and that enables them all to have 
a good buy and good nades as these are going to be given an AK as well. So this is potentially going to be going into overtime. Well, the answer will be provided right now as this is the last round in this best of one. And now look at the utility that Navi has. It's almost non-existent. They have a couple of smokes to work with, a couple of Molotovs too, but you know, imagine if they didn't save those two guns. You know, they would have been on maybe Famuses and maybe a couple of grenades, but definitely not on the level they'd be at currently. NIP, I think there's a taste one a little bit slow. I think they got a little bit lucky in that last round with Forrest picking up the kill on the Garden when he had that nade in his hand. Let's see, can Forrest do it again? Can he, like you said, put NIP on his back and not let that boot sink just yet? Well, there's a whole lot of nades raining down on towards there, and I think the Navi guys are not going to uh, struggle to pick up the hints that NIP are putting down. It's not a bait and switch just yet, as here comes the push, and Navi are lying in wait. Oh, Aziz, is he going to push through the smoke? Is he going to catch them out? Garden picks up one kill. Alu able to respawn, and Aziz does come through, but a little bit too late. They still have to worry about Zeus, though. He's just sitting inside a pit. Exists, not looking <gasps> in that direction. Right, Alu, last man alive, and a one on three now as he picks up the first kill, he gets the second! Looking for the last two minutes, and Nate comes in and picks him off. Edward closes out the game for his team with a Kobe from downtown. And Na'Vi are going to win 16-14 against wow. NIP in their debut here in the ESL, or ESL ESCA Pro League. NIP have been tested so they far, have. really have. Three losses posted against both Virtus Pro, and now we've seen them on Inferno as well. So not going too well for them. Navi though, what a debut, and it's really good to see them holding up on CT as well as T-Side Inferno. Yeah, I and mean, the thing is about Navi, they've been on you know, a little bit of a high recently. They had so many struggles getting winning any tournament. Then they won the Pro League last season, and that was like a big sigh of relief for them. You saw when the interviews, you know, when yeah. Guardian was on stage, it was just kind of like, thank God, we finally won something. You know, coming in second, third, fourth place time and time again, it, it's really troublesome for you, really frustrates you. But they're looking good. I mean, that was still well played. They, they struggled a little bit T-side. I mean, 9-6 six or 6-9 six, wasn't actually a bad score against NIP when they demolished Dinatos when they were on CT side. Um, but things were a little bit rough. They still look like a damn good team. And NIP, unfortunately, just couldn't close it out. They were so close. Forrest, he had some, like 31 frags at the end of that game. He just, yeah. did, just He worked hard. He like, worked you, hard. You look at these, you know, potential one-on-one -on -one situations or these 2v2s that could have went, you know, the other team's favor just with, like, a pixel to the right, pixel to the left of the yeah. crosshair, or one egg on the, wrong, or the right way. I think it was Forrest who was in B in a one-on-two. Oh, if he needed towards Banana, banana CT, he would have yeah. killed Flamey um, when he was on, like, 18 HP and the one that had the 1v1. Little things like that. But... Now they come out ahead, 16-14 Inferno. It was Not a bad. game of fractions. Minor yeah. errors on either side to determine the victors of that one. And what a result for Navi. So commiserations to NIP, congratulations to Navi. And that brings us on to our third game of the night. It will be a bit of a blockbuster. I know Jason is excited. Oh, I'm so excited for this. It's going to be TSM Fnatic and on Overpass of all maps. We've already had a couple of surprising results on Overpass. Let's not forget Hellraiser's Envious, where they took it to 16-14. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are as well. So stand by, get a cup of tea, and we'll see you in a few.